game this Saturday, but you kind of had a mini almost bye week um, in preparation for Wednesday night's game for the Raging Cajuns. What was the uh, plan coming into this week? Well, I think for us it was just to try to rest our guys, try to get healthy. Uh, it was a big thing for us. And, uh, you know, and then our staff went out recruiting the early part of last week. Uh, but other than that, it's it's really been a normal week because it's not like a true bye week. You only get a couple extra days, and uh, you know, so we did that. And you know, the last the last few days have been just like any other week. You know, just getting ready for the game. And coach, what are your thoughts on the Rage of Cages as you go into Wednesday night's game? Well, we just first of all we got a lot of respect for for Lafayette and, and what they what they do and what how their program is. You know, we first came in the league. That was a team that we. Had, Obviously looked at and, and said, "Hey, we want to be like those guys." I mean, they're they're consistent every year winners, and um, you know that's one of the things that we gauge our program on. And uh, we got so we have definitely a lot of respect. And then you know we feel like not defensively they've been outstanding against the run. I mean, we're obviously trying to run the football, so that's going to be a a tough test for us to see if we're able to run the ball against their defense. And you know I think they're they're a team that very easily could be sitting here at four and one right now. I mean, it's, it's the last two weeks. Uh, both games have gone into overtime, and not just one overtime, just several overtimes. And, you know, so they're uh, a team very capable of being, you know, sitting there for one. So we know we know what we're running up against, uh, what kind of team they're going to be. So we obviously need to play our best ball. As a reminder to members of the media in the call, you can press star one at this time to get the queue to ask questions for head coach Scott Satterfield of Appalachian State. Uh, Coach, one more question. You know, with this Wednesday night game, it offers the national showcase um, that you've had a couple times throughout this year. I mean, what, how important is it to you to have that national platform for App State football? No, I think it's great. You know, we've been fortunate. This is uh, every one of our games has been on TV uh, throughout the year. And, uh, you know, this is the sixth one. And, you know, we're on the ESPN platform, which is really, really nice to be on. And, and, and I think for, for Lafayette as well. I mean, you get to showcase their school, uh, on Wednesday night, so and it's fun for our guys. I mean, our, our guys love to be able to play on TV, and all their people back home can watch them play. And uh, you know, so for, for and then also recruiting. Uh, you know, we go out and tell recruits, hey, check us out on Wednesday night on ESPN too. So uh, for all, for a lot of reasons, it's pretty special uh, for us to be able to play uh, on this. And we don't mind this midweek game because you know you had time to pre- prepare. Uh, I think that the hard part of the midweek games is when you don't have time to prepare. You only have a five day turnaround. That's when it gets hard, but this is exciting for us, and I'm uh, looking forward to the game. Okay, Coach, we'll go to our first questions from Brett Stretlow, the Winston-Salem Journal. Hey, Scott, if you can oblige our weekly how is Marcus Cox uh, doing question, if he's been able to do anything or just whatever update you can give on his status. So, oh, Marcus? Is that who you asked yes. about? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah he, he's, he's, he's getting better. Uh, he ran, he's been running this week, uh, this weekend. And uh, he still has not practiced yet, but but is running and close to right at full speed. Uh, you know, so he, he's very very close. And uh, you know whether or not he plays or not still remains to be seen. Uh, you know, but he is very very close. I mean, I, I, it's a hundred percent that he'll play an Idaho game, which you know is our next game. Um, and this game right here is uh, is going to be very close, and we'll see where he's at. But again, we want to don't want to put him out there unless he's going to be very effective. If I can get one follow up, just. I don't know if you were able to watch the Georgia Southern Arkansas State game, but is that even a game that you kind of talk to your team about? Just given, um, you know, I don't want to call it an upset, but just the way that uh, how tough league games are uh, on the road. No, we really didn't talk about it. I know a lot of our guys watched it and, and you know had comments about the game, but but uh, but in this league, and our guys know this, we talk to them all all the time about it. I mean, any, in this league, anybody can win this league. Uh, that's just the way it is. You know, you have to show up and you have to play and have a great game plan and all that. But but we know how tough the league is and how competitive it is. You know, so so you better be ready to play every week. The team, if you're not ready to play, uh, then you're going to get beat. You may get embarrassed. And, uh, you know, so those are the things we've talked to our, our guys about for for really the last few years. And, uh, you know, so we, we know we have to play our best game when we, when we head to Louisiana. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brett. Uh, I'll pause here to have any last-minute questions for Coach Satterfield of Appalachian State. Okay, seeing as there are none, Coach, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Okay, thanks, guys.